in, see, in, my in radical, all my radical know, opinion, know women. my radical opinion is that men are not even fit to lead our society. Definitely. Oh God, I love you. I love you too. Why? So you mean if I run for president, I'm unfit because I'm a man? I mean, who is our president now? So an ex-user, Mommy Z, recently trended on X for a tweet that she made, and I quote, I have always been too lazy to wake up and get his lunch ready. But the day he told me a colleague brought two spoons so he'll eat with her was the day I set my alarm for 4.50 a.m. Now this tweet went extremely viral and created a lot of buzz, which we will be dissecting here today. All right, guys, my name is Elvis Christian, and I welcome you to Pulse Hot Takes, where we discuss and share several and diverse opinions and perspectives as regards trends and, you know, things happening on social media. Yeah, yeah, so I'm Chris, and today we have with us two special My guests, bad. and I feel I will not be able to do justice to their introductions, so I will let them introduce themselves. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Hi. I'm, I'm cold. I, I like your I hair. I see. Though. Thank you. Or my lack of hair. Yeah, or your lack of hair. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say Happy New Year? Because, yeah. I mean, 2024. Yes. Yeah, happy, happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hi, my name is Kimmy K. I'm a model and I'm also a media personality yeah. and I'm a podcaster. I mean, we're talking here, right? Yeah. Please. All right. Yeah. Okay. My name is. I like you where you're just lounging, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you're so comfortable. Yeah, chill. Yeah, chill. <laughs> yeah I'm Ijeoma. I'm yeah. a business person, also a podcaster, an influencer, Ooh. and uh, a feminist. So, are you feminist? See, when people ask me that question, right, mm. my response is always like, how can I not be? Like, right. how can I not be on my side? I'm a woman and seeing all the things going on with women across the world in Nigeria, the rate of femicide, blah, blah, blah. How can I not be on my side? So, mm. yes, I'm a feminist. Mm. <laughs> okay. Are you, Crystal, are you a feminist? <laughs> Am I feminist? Yeah. I'm pro-feminism. That's not the question. <laughs> that's not the question. <laughs> that's not it's the my question. answer. I am pro feminism. All right. Cool. All right. So now to the t topic of the day. But you didn't answer the question. Oh, I've, are you are you a feminist? Are you a male feminist? I'm I'm a feminist ally. I like to say that. Yeah. I'm a feminist ally. Because okay. I because I was told that I can't call myself a feminist. I have to ally because I I irrespective of my political ideology or social ideology, I can't experience yeah. misogyny like women. So yeah. ally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so so did you see the tweet? It was everywhere. Yeah. I saw the tweet. It was on my timeline for days. And when I first saw it, I was like, hold up. What's going on here? <laughs> I didn't want to react. And I didn't think it was going to go that viral. But mm. yeah, I, did. I did see the tweet. So what do you what do you think about the, <sighs> specifically the reactions it got from feminists? I think... Um, there, there was a lot of misdirection because people made it, oh, are you saying women should not cook for their husband? It was never mm -hmm. about cooking. Okay. It was about um, the conversation. The conversation there was waking up by 4.30 to cook for a man because mm -hmm. you feel a colleague will snatch him with jollof rice or whatever. You know? Damn. Okay. So it, 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 it's what is the, in, the insecurity, the, mm. the, the, there are a lot of conversations there that you know it evoked. And obviously, there is everything wrong with that. With that type of mentality where you feel mm. like in order to keep your man as a pregnant woman oh you she have, was pregnant oh, she, she is, is. I didn't even pregnant. Have that she, she is. had one kid no she is I think she has a kid she has a, she, she has a kid I know she has a kid she's and she's also pregnant, pregnant. Right now. Heavily, oh. pregnant. heavily pregnant yeah. so why you have to wake up by 4.30 so they won't snatch your man because he came back and told you oh so Miss Bisola brought a sister spoon for me I think though it was I felt it was cringe worthy because I think I made a post on Facebook where my main social media platform was like, if your child comes home and to, to tell you, oh, mommy, uh, they ban job packs extra spoon for me. You say, is that is that the level of your longer, longer truth? truth? Oh, so you're hmm. saying that she was insecure okay, I see the point and your the husband is also a beggy beggy. I'm saying that with my full chest Damn. because because what would make you... Mm. Go. I, I, I said, okay, why do we expect more responsibility from kids than we do adults? Because I know if my child comes home to tell me, uh, uh, I'm going to whoop the living hell out of you Damn. or at least give you a good talking to because why do they know you to be such a beggar that they have to pack Bring extra, extra spoon. spoon for mm. you, like especially for you. And I asked women there, are you going to go and say, okay, I'm going to wake up by 4.30 to pack your lunch. Or are you going to say, but first of all, why are you doing this? And mm. I tried to bring a lot of scenarios into it. I said, okay, if let's, because we were, were calling it um, acts of service. I said, okay, let's call it acts of service. Let's say my, my husband doesn't have a car and a, a coworker comes, uh, you know, 
to wake me up to oh, work. Yeah, to work, yeah. I, is my husband going to wake up by 4.30 to go and hustle more for me and call it Oct or Sovers? You know, it, it, it was so <laughs> But I mean, I mean, it's not the same thing, though. It, it, it has to be because when you say, someone used the analogy of, okay, if I don't have a wig and a co-worker buys me a wig, well, my husband, and people are like, no, it's not the same thing. It's Act of Service. So if you're going to uh, do it, use Act of Service. That's why I use, you know, picking up. Mm -hmm. but, but even if you reverse it even if it's okay something like a massage or something is it going to make your husband so insecure that he would wake up by 4 30 to do it because i don't want to, them to snatch this my wife mm. who i just married it doesn't make sense mm. so she's saying she's bringing do you think uh mommy mommy z was being insecure by being threatened the reason why she's waking up to cook was that she was threatened that someone's going to take her husband because she did say mm. she said husband, that, yeah. she did say husband, husband where I just, just married, married. Yeah. That. so there that there leaves like an undertone of yeah i'm insecure a little bit about that so that's why i want to cook so her act of service is not didn't emanate from responsibility mm. emanated mm. from oh if i don't cook then somebody else someone else, someone else cook for my husband, well, my husband my husband yeah so, so do you agree with that when i saw the tweets my first thoughts were this man just manipulated this woman, just oh. triggered her insecurity because there is no way that you're going to tell your woman that somebody else is bringing extra spoon. I mean, from clap, they said that from, from clap, clap. Yeah. down they start. Start, yeah. So, I mean, I felt like this man just manipulated this woman, your pregnant wife, into waking up, you know, early, that early to come and pr pr provide and give him food and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But what I really feel about this situation and what, especially the reactions and a lot of Nigerians are calling it grace is it grace to me or oh, <laughs> me personally i just think it's a reflection of how messed up our system is mm. because when the story kept unfolding we realized that okay they are staying in a very small apartment they can't afford microwaves and mm. free yeah, so there, there was a lot yes. of context that people were missing out of the mm -hmm. picture so yeah. when i saw that i kind of paused i'm like what's happening here these are people that can't really afford this basic things because she she came out to say after the old donation she came mm. out to say that thank god oh, um thank god i, I finally ha i finally so I have, have microwave and fridge i just think nigerians are obsessed with grace that's one of the reasons why that story blew up we romanticized the idea of grace mm -hmm. while you think it's grace me i just think it's just reflection of how messed up our society is mm. i also think that um there's a problem with the husband you know while while we try to blame the wife for her performance of humility and poverty there's also something wrong with your husband watching you wake up by 4 30 to cook as a pregnant woman pregnant pack his woman. lunch and he's okay with that with it you know just lying down i feel like not all sacrifices or compromises are essential there are things that you you'd want to do for your spouse or your spouse would want to do for you and it is your responsibility to say oh no this is too much mm -hmm. like I, I i think i give an instance that if if i'm married to a poor man and i say i want a three hundred thousand naira a week and he and i know he can't he can't afford it if he says okay let me go and steal or let me go and sell our family land so I can buy it. I should not be like, oh, my man loves me so much. He, he, he just, I, I married the best man on earth. He should be like, no, 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 no. Let, let's be man. No, I can, I can take care. I can wear blends. I can wear synthetic till maybe we get to that level. It was his responsibility to say, don't worry. You are a married, um, um, you're a very pregnant woman. Myself. You don't yeah. have to wake up by 4.30 to pack my lunch. Not even breakfast, lunch. Lord, right. So, so if he, if mommy Z's husband was rich, would that be a different case? No, it wouldn't. It, we would still be, uh, there are rich, abusive, useless men. He would just be one of them. So, mm. Mommy Z's husband, was, was he abusive in that context? I think, I wouldn't, I don't know if to call it because, you know, they've dragged me and they, I know they'll still drag me again. But, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm used to it. But I, I don't, I don't know if I would call it, I would just say I think he's, he's very less. manipulative. Uh, yeah, and manipulative. It, it, That's also know. emotional abuse. Well then. But does she, he, she doesn't if, really if, if, if like that. If the shoe fits, you can wear it and trap to wherever yeah. it's going to. Oh, with her full chest too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, moving on from the Chris, reaction. tell us, like, how do I what, feel what do you yeah. feel about this? Like, <laughs> well, for me, about the insecurity parts, when I first saw it, I was like, mm, I don't think it's insecurity. Maybe she just felt, oh, I don't want my husband. Till she now tweeted and said, husband, where I just married. Smarty, yeah. When someone said, oh, so they will not tell your husband. Then I'm like, hmm. Me, personally, I will not wake up by 4.30 a.m. to cook for a man because I do not want them to steal him from me. Mm -hmm. If they can So why would you wake up by 4.30 to cook for a man? I would not wake up by 4.30 to cook for myself. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay. If okay. I'm heavily pregnant, mm -hmm. let's even add the fact that she was heavily pregnant. You're heavily pregnant. You're waking up by 4.30. Going back to what she said, the husband could have said, oh, you know what? Maybe he doesn't know how to cook. 
maybe he knows how to cook. Let's assume he knows how to cook. He can say, oh, don't worry. I don't think you have to. Like she said, and step in. You, I believe that cooking is basic human skill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everyone Anybody know that how knows cook. how to eat should know how to cook at least, even if it's Indomie. Do you get? So <laughs> when I saw it, like I said, I didn't think she was insecure till I now saw the tweet. I said, oh, maybe it's actually insecurity or maybe it's a man that, you know, she knows that they can use food to steal him. And, and also, I also feel like you can't steal somebody. Let's just wrap this. Steal a human Yeah, you can't steal a human being. You can. Oh. You definitely can. Steal a human being. You can steal people. <laughs> I thought that's a story no. we can unpack later. Yeah, but you can yeah, definitely steal people. Yeah. Oh, okay. All okay. Right. All right. I disagree, but I disagree. Uh, we have <laughs> villains. So dis- like not everyone is a cool, chill person. Like, I mean, from sharing spoon today, tomorrow it can be, hey, but you know. So, so are you justifying are you justifying mommy Z's? Because technically you're justifying mommy Z's. See, I understand I understand our insecurity, obviously, because you know how women view marriage in this part of the world. Mm-hmm. Like that is your husband, that is your man. Obviously, I don't want him to get chummy, 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 but you can't stop a man from cheating. If he wants to, he's going to. So I obviously understand why she was triggered or why she was moved because she said she didn't used to do it before but yeah. once he mentioned question. even now with I have a question even, she even, doesn't even have to do now it that she starts packing if that woman were the villain the the other lady hmm? she will bring spoon to join him and eat a his woman, own food his yeah. own food if, and tell him, and tell actually, him i don't think it's your wife can cook like that all yeah. so so do you think she's actually trying to <laughs> avoid can actually yeah, still can happen. happen but i understand that point of view like we don't see my own my my very like i sometimes i feel like maybe there's no woman even at the end. Maybe he has no woman there. Maybe he just said it to just like push her to push do her. it. So the like, manipulation. The yeah. manipulation. Like mm. you never can tell. We're not in the office if there's an office. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyways. So with the whole tweet and the reactions, a lot of Nigerians felt the need to reward Mommy Z for her generosity, act her responsibility, service. acts of service. <laughs> and instead of showering, it was money at first. Initially, when I when it started, I was like, okay, this is going to stop at like 2 million. I saw 8 million. I saw... A bank doubled the money. I mm, saw a lot of people pouring. Yeah. So, what do you think about? Do you think it, people were just really rewarding her, or it was just clout? Uh, I uh, number one is just clout. Number two is performative. Nigerians are very performative. They like that's why every time uh, once it's election time, you see our governor splitting hairs and you know going to the market to buy Gary. You know all of that. We are very we love performance. Mm. So you know, and then there, there's a virtue signaling part where they want oh you're a good you're a good man yeah we, we don't make women like you anymore. Your mothers did that. Mm. Did you send them money mm. on Facebook? We are, we are having women come to groups to lament my husband sent mommy z money but me i've been doing this i've been doing that uh, he never sent. he does not even pay school fees and i'm like wow mm. <laughs> 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 because you know this is this is this is the culture we live in it's not they're not doing it to because they want to it's performative and also to pepper feminists uh, mm. you people that said come and see do you have the money we have given her mm. what do you think? see let me let me clarify i'm not mad Mm-hmm. I'm not mad. The economy is hard. Mm-hmm. Everything By is means, crazy. Blessed, the right? game is the, the game, game, definitely. But what I did not like is seeing big corporate brands jump on this trend. Like you yeah. said, Nigerians love clouds. Anything that's shiny, anything that's trending, anything that's popping, everybody wants to tap into that. Which obviously is very performative yeah. at the at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. But uh, I mean, she won. There's yeah. there's no there's no big touch. She won. Cost, there's a little bit of cost mm. there, but I'm not I'm not mad at it. You know, mm. I I think that's reparations. I think she patriarchy. can handle the cost. Mm. Uh, and and she's the I kind of person can. that can bend because Twitter people came at her the other day for calling her school, her, her child's school, school shabby. 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 And as a good, you know, patriarchal woman, she was like, Oh, patriarchal. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. sorry. And I was like, this woman understands yeah. it. She was like, Emma yeah. Binu, I have learned my lesson. I have learned my lesson. And the, 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 the downside there, well, the downside yeah. there is they're always going to throw it at you. You're always going to have to dance to your tune because they mm. made you. Yes. So they all, they always remind you, even if they put only 2K there, they'll be like, even you, I did. You know, this thing they do to BBN stars. You, yeah. you vote with 200 naira and every time, you, you, I gave you my, I made you who you are. So they're always going to throw that in her face. But I like her because she understands the game. So she's always going to be like, no, 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 please, please, I'm sorry. And she would damn selling this. Trust. Immediately, <laughs> so I like her, and why I'm happy is that a woman is at the winning, she's the oh, one winning. So, say, the say, day, so the feminist won, <laughs> <laughs> won actually. in the long run. <laughs> okay, so there is an assumption that feminists on X are extreme. So, my question here is Do you think that there is a thin line between feminism and misandry? Do you like what do you, do you 
Misandry as a concept does not exist. Thank, Thank you. you. Just because women Thank are you. saying we hate men, rightfully so, <laughs> does not mean that mis- 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 misogyny is is an actual concept. It's something that every woman has experienced. The marginalization against women, the discrimination, discrimination against women. Prejudice. And so when people say the feminists on X are doing too much, I'm like, y'all ain't doing... <laughs> y'all doing <laughs> you guys are not yeah. even doing as much as you should. Yeah. I mean, in Korea, there's their report, South Korea, Bobby, there are reports women. that women are like, yeah. oh, we don't want to have kids with this man. They are very abusive. They don't respect us. Zero. Nada. At least women in Nigeria, they still love marriage. I, I, but they I, carry I, I marriage on their head. Talks. So men hate women. Where? Uh, be- because a woman says she hates you, how has that affected your income? Thank you. I, I think I've said work. I've said that a lot of times that you know there's misandry as a con- as a concept is a myth. Um, misogyny is institutionalized, is mm. systemic. systemic. Yeah. You yeah. know, so we don't have that. You can't teach your. You can't. There's no uh, matriarchy. You you don't pay. You don't pay groom price. You you, you as a man. You've even never, if you did you, pay, you, even if you did pay groom price, it yeah. still doesn't make any. It doesn't make you. You've not. Been, I don't think any man. I think I asked the question and I was like, how many times have you gone to the market and you were catcalled by women? How many times have you gone to? How in fact, how many real life in reality, do you even know? If, in reality, I think. If a man is even being cat called, he's being cat called by men. Uh, exactly. If you, actually, go to, if, if you go to actually, Yaba with yeah. a man, you start calling, ah, fine boy. My yeah. Yeah. It's actually men doing it's this. Men to all. And it's, this. Not, it's not sexual in any way. It's just yeah. being a nuisance, right? I personally agree with you here. Yeah? Misandry is not a concept. It's not, I feel it's like she said, off camera, she said, uh, misandry is just men trying to play victims. That's of what I want to ask. Yeah, like, because, why do men yeah, because want I to feel, be victims? I have, I don't know about any other man. I have never faced so much mm. discrimination or hate that mm-hmm. I feel like, oh, this is because I am a I'm man. I'm a man, mm-hmm. yeah. Right? Yes. This is, if I face discrimination, it's because of something I have done. Done. Yeah. It's something, it's not because my gender, gender doesn't play any mm-hmm. role to yeah. that. But I know one thing about misogyny, yeah? The society enforces misogyny, Definitely. right? Society gives power to misogyny. misogyny. Exactly. It is systemic. It is grained in institutions. There are people that you can't get certain opportunities for your gender yeah so how, how many how many times says. have men gone to you know rent a house and they said oh we can't rent you, you because you're a man i was just yeah. about she has to an experience i have personally yeah. experienced it when i first moved to lagos and i was trying to get a house and they're like oh we don't want a single woman no and i'm sure this is coming from because i've had cases where my friends would say oh they literally told me that they cannot rent a house to me because i'm single they don't want me to be bringing different men into my house mm-hmm. but if it's a man that is bringing different wo- women yeah. nobody's going to say i'm not going mm-hmm. to give you the man I've worked, worked in social media for like a real estate company. Mm-hmm. There, are, there are apartments that are marketed specifically as bachelor's lodges. Mm-hmm. Like they are tailored to single mm. men. And I remember just casually, this wasn't even for feminism or like yeah. just to play the devil's advocate. I was like, oh, so where is the female version of this? Mm-hmm. And they were like, there's no female version of this. I was like, why? They were like, well, there's no female version of this. Women don't rent houses like that. Mm-hmm. So why are we marketing to people that don't rent houses like that? Mm-hmm. Many women leave their houses, their parents' house to their mm-hmm. husband's mm-hmm. house. So that's the pipeline they're used to. So why market to women? Yeah. Which I found funny, but I, I want salary. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to debate that. Of course. <laughs> I'm not going to let out anybody. See, shout out to Feminist on X. No grief for anybody. Y'all yeah. are doing the keep up. Yeah. The good yeah. work. I- and on Facebook too, because that's where the main. If anything, is. increase the pepe. Yeah, I do feel they're not doing a, a enough I because said I still before. see the things called patriarchy princesses. Yeah, yeah. I still the see the pick me. Yes. Yeah, I still see like a lot of that on Twitter. So I feel like like uh, two days ago, uh, we, it got casted that this guy that came outside to announce, oh, he he confessed to killing his own girlfriend. girlfriend. He was we saw that he was caught. And we still have no news of him. Apart, he's still using the same Instagram account mm-hmm. that he confessed on to view stories. Mm-hmm. He still has a baby mama issue. So I feel like these things are still... Women can go through strong... Can go through femicide, mm-hmm. right? And nothing will be done about it. Of course. And people will move on like it was oh, just, it's just yeah, another trend. Tomorrow something else will happen. So I feel like we are not... Uh, the feminists, feminists, both the men and the women are not even as militant as this of Nigerian course. society not requires. Yeah. Yeah. They're not angry enough. Yeah. Because the things I've seen with my eyes, things I've experienced, because I have four sisters, the things I have heard from them, not even from other people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, they're not angry enough. They, you, are, you know they pepper you too much. You are, you are still enjoying it. Mm-hmm. Because the popular ex-feminists on ex are privileged women. 
So I don't expect them to be that <laughs> militant. Mm. Yeah. I, I, do do you think point. it has to do with being... Pre- okay, yeah, privilege covers a lot of... You don't yeah, get it covers. Yeah, you don't see don't things yeah. as they are. That's why I said... That's why I said... I, I was on X a few days ago because they dragged me there. And I was seeing the... Uh, <laughs> I was seeing the, the feminist... This thing. I had to tag my friend. I was like, that's what they do for here. Because it was very tepid. It was very calm. I was like... You, you've seen feminists saying... Oh, I'm a feminist, but I believe men are heads. I believe mm. men. And I'm like, so you don't think men are head? Mm. Head. Head, you <laughs> <laughs> what? Head. head of fish or head of no, no. They so are. I was like, okay, how are you a feminist when the basis of feminism, feminism is equality? So how are you saying men are head? Like, what kind of feminism is that? So I was like, that's what I did do for here because this is this is really tepid. It's not mm. even it's not lukewarm. It's cold. cold. You know, despite having. I said that misandry doesn't exist, blah, blah, blah. People still come online. I see still feminists on X or social media everywhere. In interviews still say things like, I hate men. Mm-hmm. So what does that fall on? Does that still not misandry in some There's way? There's not misandry. If I say I hate rice, is it misandry? It's not, it's not misandry anything. You, if, if you are warranted to hate the people you hate. Uh, men, men hate women and still marry women. No, men rape women and still marry women. Mm. This guy that mm. we mentioned, mm. uh, that confessed to killing his girlfriend, Benjamin, he, he has a baby mama, yeah. you know, so it doesn't change anything. You don't know what men, we all see what men do. Mm. So if I say I hate men, then I hate men. It's not misandry. Is has he hurt any man in real life? Has he made you, have you gone to work and they said, oh, if I'm this, uh, said they hit men so you're, we're gonna fire you no you know what you know people always say oh. when there is good there is bad when there is cold there is hot mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so when there is misogyny there's misogyny my, my thing is how can women love their oppressors mm. if you are my oppressor i'm supposed so to love you mean there are no, you? There are no women oppressors no no Oh, you in, see, in, my, in radical, my radical no, opinion, no women. my radical opinion is that men are not even fit to lead our society. Definitely. Oh God, I love you. I love you too. Why? Baby. So you mean if I run for president, I'm unfit because I'm a man? I mean, who is our president now? Oh wow. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's move on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So moving on from Mommy Z, let's talk about other things that have been trending in the society. Ooh. So there's this. Would I call it beef? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Between Tiwa Savage and David O. Mm-hmm. And we've heard that she's filed a petition against him, claiming that he is, you know, threatening, threatening her safety. Her so yeah. what do you guys think about this? Do you <laughs> like David O first? I'm sorry I love that. David O. I feel like okay. he's my guy. You know, the way people have like connections so you're with a guy people. With an i have my faves i have my faves but i love david doe and he's my guy but i have to say it's that david doe is badly behaved and i think Mm -hmm. because he's in that he's he we are not in the same you know tax brackets he's a wealthy guy he's always been wealthy all his life i think sometimes he hides under that wealth to perpetrate some very bad behaviors Mm. and people don't call it out as much because you know he's he he has vibes now he's they they were talking Mm -hmm. about Mm -hmm. that giveaways yeah like like, people love people actually genuinely love him and that's why i'm even saying it that david do or more you're badly behaved (laughs) (laughs) and that situation with tiwa savage should have never made it to the internet which i think is a failure within within a circle it should have never because we're talking about kids kids are involved Mm. these are something that your kids can and see later. later and these kids the general they probably, yeah. they're not dumb mm-hmm. they have but friends they're, probably even they're on social yeah. media yeah. so like obviously that should have never made it to the internet the screenshot of the chat it should have never gotten to the police i think you should have taken a more calm approach because i mean she's your friend she has been there for you so why that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. side eye they would do Side okay. eye. <laughs> so you made mention of the uh, Big Brother, so you m- you might be familiar with Tasha, right? Oh yeah. So Tasha jumped in on the conversation, and Tasha was all uh. David was a bully, blah blah blah. And people always like to see Tasha likes to insert herself in, in certain things. narratives. Yeah. Part. Do you do you what do you think about that? Uh, yeah, she likes to insert herself, and she does. She uh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but don't you think there's a Shut feminist angle to Tasha? Yeah, because she's trying to defend Tio Savage. No, I. I but do you think that's why she goes it. hard against women? So if we want, to, if we want to unearth that particular part, it's going to take us a long time. She yeah. I, I used to say that she doesn't give men the same energy, you know, she gives women. Every time she's having issues with women, she. Uh, but when I think David is the only man that she has 
even slightly had uh, uh, something to say about. And even when she was against that had little bit seafood, the video, she did a video where she was all calm. I was like, is this our Tatcha? Tatcha that when she's talking about women, she's like, <laughs> with the video, she was like, uh, uh, love and light. And so, I mean, at some point, she did have a crush on him before. So, yeah. Uh, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, back to the video. As a former 30 BG, I'm now just. Former? Former. former. So yeah. I have so I where don't have one BG to, to even start with. <laughs> so, like, the video is badly behaved. You, you will be forced to always be on the defensive. And um, my my thing is, once once it crosses to women, I'm like, okay, if you're dealing with men, they're okay. Two men fighting, what can I do? But when you carry your bullying and your bad behavior to women, I have to, you know, fall Say back. something. And carry my ten naira and go. Mm-hmm. So where did you where did you go to to Biscuit FC? I know I'm just you come, my we welcome you. <laughs> <laughs> we have rice cakes here. Okay. I said with with Tasha, right? I just think it's funny how love can turn to hate really quickly because she I think she still she has, has that giant yeah she covers David, it up now David yeah. tattoo. I think she said she lasered it off. I think did she? Mm. She said yeah, she, she did. Ooh. Well, allegedly. I don't know. But lo- love <laughs> can t- turn into hate very quickly. Yeah. And I just think it's funny. But I think, like, they can sort it out if mm. they wanted to. I-, I think she'll still be excited if she gets a message from the reader and be like, let's talk about this. Like, I think let's it's not beef. He's unrecruited. The uh, mm. has never given her back, back the love that she yeah, she's yeah. But he liked yeah. something. Okay, I think he liked it. That, um, that shady's Latin. And touch the bar as far as she smells. No, that's what that's the tweet. And I, I, I didn't, I'm not saying she smelled. Of course, that was the tweet. I'm not saying she smelled. Okay, that was it. Please. After she came out and after she called. Yeah, him after she called him out, he now yeah. that's what David does. Yeah, he may not sub you. It's he will like the first time. He yeah, it's not the first thing. To touch her, I'm just about to piss him her off. <laughs> Dude, we don't want to diss me, but you will like a tweet of someone dissing me, and people mm. will check. Mm. All right, so let's move on to more saddening uh news. The news of the banker who committed suicide, and I I read her um. Suicide note, and it was like, uh, I'm so sorry to my mom. She called probably siblings, and uh, she, I keep making difficult decisions and bad decisions, and the economy is too much for me to handle. Type thing. What? I don't think. It, I don't think I can even ask what you think about it, right? Yeah. So yeah, it is. Really I feel like it's not said enough. The toll the economy is it's taking on people's taking mental on health. Yeah. yeah, people just think when people make political decisions as regards who gets to lead or who gets to get into power we don't really think about consequences mm-hmm. these mm-hmm. are the consequences mm-hmm. right people with real lives out there are suffering mm-hmm. at like an abysmal level mm-hmm. yeah right so it's sad it's really, it really sad to really see that people is. are it taking really their is. lives just because no not, okay. not just because because of the economy yeah, it's, economy. Really, yeah. it's really yeah. sad and this is somebody that has a, what a job referred to as a cushy job and yeah. working at she the bank yeah no that's really sad i mean first of all what i have to say and what i need everyone to know is that there needs to be a law that prohibits people from taking pictures of people's unalived bodies and yeah. posting it on the internet. Imagine finding out that your relative, your friend, your dead. sister yeah. is internet. dead on, on, on the cool. internet. It was triggering to see yes, it, yeah. and the note was very, 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 very. Like we don't sad. need to see the note. Yeah, like, yeah. We, we don't. I think that's private. too personal. Headline, I think a headline it's is private. private. That's yeah. too. That's that's too headline personal. And we don't talk about. How there is a mental health crisis in Nigeria. That's See, agree. we're in trouble. Mm-hmm. <laughs> many, I'm many are so we're, we're mad. That's literally we yeah. are mad. People are running mad. The economy is taking toll. People, it's it's crazy. It's it really is. I, I just like I sending think. love prayers to our yeah. family. Yeah. Like you can never replace someone that's yeah. that's gone. Mm-hmm. You know. I think the the uh, Nigerians are very resilient, but that's it's good and bad. And we're we have the to bad. Be, yeah, yeah. We would, do we're we have the to, bad. Do we have to. Be, be, yeah, but we have God's to be stronger. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, bro, I'm more. tired. Every yo. time you know something happens, fall goes up. We just adjust. We mm-hmm. adjust. We adjust. We're very and that's the bad thing about it. And that's why we keep making. Yeah, that's why they keep being high handed because Nigerians, Nigeria go survive. Yeah. Thing. After after a few months and after crying, we'll, we'll adjust. You know, so I think th- this is the bad part of it. This is a sad part of it. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, guys. That is all we can take on this episode of Pulse Hot Takes. Until next time, bye See. bye. <laughs>